Hey, my name is Megan Whitney. I am the owner of Core Bookkeeping. We help small businesses by handling their finances and taxes. And I want to show you how to handle a QuickBooks dilemma when you are trying to reconcile an account and the beginning balance is off. So say for instance, this is your first time reconciling an account in QuickBooks. You come down here on the left side of your screen, your screen may look a little bit different, and you go to reconcile. And of course you go to find which bank account you are wanting to reconcile. So when I pull this up, our beginning balance is 863 and 40 cents. Now, this is my first time reconciling the account, so I know that's incorrect because at one point in time, the bank account was zero dollars, right? When you first open up a bank account, it is zero before you enter in a deposit. So I know that is not right for my beginning balance, but there's no way for me to click on it and change it. Even if you start the reconciliation, which is this green button right behind my uh, loom controls, you still can't edit it when you're in it. So you need to go back to um, the main bank register. So let me show you how to do that. On our left side, we're going to go to this banking tab and this sub tab called banking. Then you are going to find the matching account that you are trying to fix up here at 7680. Closer to the right side of the screen, it says go to bank register, and that's exactly what I want to do. Our beginning balance is off, so I need to find which entry QuickBooks automatically put in here for our beginning balance and remove it. So if you're scrolling down, um, it's going to be um, opening balance equity. That's going to be the payee account. So you can go here and scroll to try to go find it or see opening balance equity. Or if there's so many transactions you can't find it, we'll go ahead and sort them by ABC order or you can filter it um, probably to find... Okay, so opening balance equity. So QuickBooks automatically reconciles it. That's what this R stands for, and we need to delete it. So let's go in here. Let's. I'll show you how we know QuickBooks added this and maybe not a previous accountant. If a previous accountant added this, that could be fine. They're just maybe reasons why we need to move this away from opening balance equity because really no... Um, account should have an opening balance equity starting. So we see opening balance equity, opening balance from bank. The bank didn't just give you $863, all right? QuickBooks tries to make that a quick fix. So we need to go to more, audit history, and you are able to see who added this in here. Added by online banking administration or added by uh, QuickBooks online, um, either way. So we know that this should actually not be in here. So we need to go back to our bank register, which I wish QuickBooks made this easy to go back to, but you need to go back to banking, back to our bank register, back to this, and you can either um, void it or I don't really want to void it. It's not a check. I don't want any trace of this $863 because it's a made up number from the bank account that has nothing to do with my books. We're going to go ahead and delete it. Yes, I want to delete. Back on the left side under reconcile. Choose the account we want to reconcile. Oops, not this one. Beginning balance zero, that is perfect. And then I can start off my reconciliation with the first deposit that was ever made into this account. So if you ever need to change the beginning balance, that's how you do it. Um, so hope that was helpful and let me know if there's any other questions.